Hello everybody, my name is Curtis as a dig, and today I would like to show you guys a data pack that I've been working on for the past few weeks. With the 1.17 update, Mojang will be introducing the light block. A block that emits light, but as soon as you are no longer holding a light block in your hand, it is invisible and you cannot hit it at all. It's virtually non-existent other than the light being produced by it. However you hold the light block, you'll be able to see its hitbox when you hover over it. If I were to switch into survival, what you'll notice is that the particles will disappear. However, I will still be able to access the hitbox and uh, make changes to the light level with the same way by right-clicking it. Uh, and I still cannot destroy it. So it is there basically forever. Now I personally am very interested in the light block. However, because it can't be really used much in survival, I decided to make this data pack to be able to do that ourselves in survival rather than having to switch into creative. So without further ado, let's go ahead and explain what this data pack does. So the first thing I want to talk about is of course how do we get the light blocks with this data pack. It's actually really simple. All we need is five pieces of glass, one glowstone, and one copper ingot to make our light bulb. So this data pack allows us to turn a book and quill into our light block editor, and it works as follows. If we open up the book, we can actually type in anything we want into these pages, because it's not really gonna matter, they're just gonna get replaced anyway. So I could just put a bunch of keyboard uh, spam, just like so. I can sign it, and let's go ahead and put in the name LIGHTS, capital L, plural, with an S. Sign and close, and now we have our light block editor. Now the light block editor has four pages. We have, of course, the regular light block editor. We have the light level editor, the light position adjustments, and the credits page. On the first page, we have display target light, which will display the target light block, or the closest light block to us, which is this one right here. As you can see, it creates a nice little outline around it. We can also choose remove light to make it drop as an item. We can also place it back down afterwards. We can add or subtract from the brightness. So if we keep selecting subtract, you'll notice on the edges of my screen that the light is actually getting closer to the source. And we can also add to it as well. And when I do that, you will notice the light getting further and further away from the source. And the last one, display all in range, will display all light blocks within 100 block range. So all of these are light blocks within range. On the second page, we can set the actual light level. So if we were to set this one to zero, you can see it goes completely dark. And if we set it to I don't know, let's say 5, it'll set it to a light level of 5. If we set it to 15, it'll set it to a light level of 15. On the third page, we can move the light around. So for example, I just move this one one block up. Uh, let's take a look at this one next to the water, because what we can do is we can actually move it into the water, and it won't disrupt the water at all. Okay, so let's move this one backwards, and then we can move it into uh, the water, so one down below. And you can see the water is not disturbed whatsoever. One thing to keep in mind when moving it in water though is that the light block can only be waterlogged. It will block flowing water. So if I were to move this, you'll notice the flowing water is no more. Another feature on that page is that we have the teleport to you button. When we select that, the light block will get teleported to you. Now, because of how I am highlighting the light block, it will push you away. Uh, unfortunately, it is what it is. Uh, it's the only way I can get the highlight to form a box. Maybe in the future, we'll be able to set something else up for it, but for now, this is what we have. And then the last page is just a credits page, and it's literally just me. Uh, at some point, if more people start working on this and we get some more features added to it, then of course their names will be added as well. But anyway, that is going to be it for this data pack 
showcase. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one!